Okay, we're back. This is video number two. We have a resonant light pearl machine on the bench. And in this video, we're going to attempt to light up a, a uh, neon phosphor fluorescent mercury tube. Just a regular and ordinary uh, commercial lighting tube. We're going to hold this close to the plasma tube on the resonant light pearl and see if it lights. See if it absorbs the energy through the air and lights up. Okay, first we're going to try it twice. In the first trial, we're going to light the resonant light pearl machine with just a carrier wave and no pulsing. So the, the, the plasma tube will not be avalanching in this first trial. Okay, uh, in the first trial we have the uh, plasma tube lit up with just straight carrier. And if we hold a electric field meter very, very close to it, it's not really registering any energy at all. If we click the, to a magnetic field meter, it's not really registering any energy at all. Okay, if we bring our our neon fluorescent tube up close to the plasma tube it does not light well it just it just cycled off let me turn it on again there it is turned on again now I have a few more minutes I'll, I'll bring our neon tube up next to it it, it will not light but our, our prediction our big prediction here is if I start this plasma tube an avalanching, uh, just give it a whole train of avalanches, it'll put out an electric and magnetic field, and it should light up our neon tube. So I'm gonna I'm gonna switch it to pulsing at 728 hertz, and now we're gonna try again with our neon tube and yes it does light up it lights up very very bright there's the plasma t there's the uh, neon lighting tube off and as I bring it close to the plasma tube it lights up why is it lighting up because I, I turned the pulsing on which is a whole train of avalanches you can see that on the oscilloscope you go from zero to a real high rise spike and that avalanches the plasma and just to prove that we'll check it again with them this is the magnetic meter as I get closer it ramps up it's now at 500 it's six inches away from the plasma tube and if I get closer it goes into over range if I switch it to electrical field as I get closer, it's at 300 volts per meter now. That's about five inches away from the plasma tube. And if I get closer and closer, it, it overranges. It goes past 1,000. Let's see, f 500 volts per meter is at about four inches away from the plasma tube. And that's our video, except for, I need to say, if you do try this at home, keep your hands away from the metal electrodes at both ends of the fluorescent tube. They will give you a big shock, you know, if, if you light the tube. Um, on my experiment, I have the ends of my fluorescent tube taped up for safety. And that's, that's my disclaimer with this video. Do not try this at home. Have a great day and goodbye.